I worked as an employee in a guitar manufacturing shop and gathered knowledge. When I started my own business, I didn't have sufficient funds to develop it. I took my first loan from LOLC in 2014 and went on to take three loans. Daukin Tida's love for traditional Burmese music led her to set up a guitar manufacturing business in 1995. Today, her business provides employment to many others and is thriving. She has plans to buy a larger house, expand her business and give her children an education better than what she had. Thanks to LOLC, my business has grown many times and I'm proud that I can give employment to five people. LOLC, a Singapore-based, globally emerging conglomerate with a focus on financial services, is reaching out to millions of men and women in developing nations. LOLC enables them to discover their true potential and unlock their hopes of a better life. Rising optimism about a promising future is sweeping developing nations. They are also emerging as a robust source of 21st century global growth. The optimism of hundreds of millions of micro and SME entrepreneurs across Asia, Africa and South America is defining a whole new future that these countries have never ever experienced before. Their relentless pursuit of prosperity is catalyzing the economic dynamism of the developing world so that these nations could assume the status they richly deserve in the global arena. Promoted in 1980 by the IFC of the World Bank Group and the Oryx Group of Japan as a standalone leasing company, LOLC has grown in just four decades into an expansive financial services conglomerate with a rapidly growing global footprint. LOLC is dedicated to build financial inclusion and invest in grassroots level entrepreneurs and catalyze inclusive and sustainable societies. After my first business failed, I wanted to start all over again, but I didn't have the capital. On account of my past failure, banks refused to fund me with a loan of 10,000 rupees. Brack came to help when I was down. But today, I was able to get back to business. Chandra epitomizes the new generation of women who are ready to seize emerging fresh opportunities in the developing economies. They are driven by a passion for building own businesses and creating strong families. However, their access to credit is severely restricted, as the traditional financial services often consider them unbankable. By building individuals, LOLC builds communities, LOLC has transformed Chandra's village to a prospering community of over 100 families engaged in horticulture. In all the countries that we operate, we have empowered the people, we have empowered the communities. There are tons of rags to riches stories. Empowerment of the entrepreneur is in our genes. You see, we do that all the time. So wherever you look, we can give solid examples of people starting business with a small facility and then as they grow, we grow with them. Finally, there are industrialists, there are people who run huge businesses that helps us, helps them and also the economy of the country as well. Every day, thousands of new generation financial services professionals of LOLC are motivating millions of entrepreneurs across developing economies. While doing so, LOLC has built a multi-billion asset base. High standards of governance and customer success-oriented best-of-breed practices have resulted in above-average business results. In less than two decades, we have built a strong, scalable platform to promote financial inclusion internationally. In every country we operate, we impart skills, share expertise, and drive competencies to create robust micro-SMEs capable of thriving in a competitive market. Over a hundred institutional investors have partnered with LOLC powering its quest to strengthen developing economies by building entrepreneurs in underserved communities. 
This strong funding partner affinity reflects the investor confidence in LOLC's growth potential. Well, we're looking for solid operators in the market. That's important. We are looking for diversity. It would be geographic diversity. It could be ownership diversity. In the case of the MFIs, they're both international and local MFIs, so we wanted diversity that way. I think, for me, the most important factor is this an MFI that is interested in trying something new, making innovations, striking out into new markets where they could be, you know, the demonstrator and prove, you know, proof of concept, you might say, you know, prove that the market is there and that you can serve the market properly. Naturally artistic, Ning Savan decided to master the art of stone carving in order to supplement the meager income he earned from cultivating a small plot of land. However, as experienced by millions in developing nations, he faced the difficulty of raising funds. Hence, until he was discovered by LOLC, his dream of becoming an artist entrepreneur remained unfulfilled. I studied the art of stone carving at the Royal University of Fine Arts in Phnom Penh. All the skills I gained would have been wasted if not for LOLC. I didn't have sufficient funds to buy the necessary equipment and raw materials. Prozac provided me with a startup loan of 1,000 US dollars. Building a globally successful financial conglomerate demands the ability to adapt to different social, cultural and economic contexts. LOLC leadership has acquired deep cultural and social intelligence through their experience in different countries, communities and cultures. This multicultural literacy has become a critical success factor of LOLC's globally expanding successful enterprise. Sialkot, a small town in the Punjab province of Pakistan, produces over 60 million hand-stitched footballs in a FIFA World Cup year. Sonia, a 30-year-old mother of two, used to toil in a factory in the city Sialkot, hand-stitching footballs. The footballs Sonia made were part of a multi-billion dollar international sport. However, the glory, the glamour, the wealth in international football were not part of her life. I used to admire my work, thinking each ball I produced with my own hands will see a better world than mine. Though I worked hard, what I earned was hardly enough to provide three meals to my children. Pakoman reached out to her and encouraged, provided credit and guided her to start her own business, which has been a runaway success. Today, she is no longer a poorly paid laborer. A successful micro-entrepreneur, she is a source of inspiration to many women in her neighborhood. Earning a postgraduate degree was a lifelong dream of Ulfa's husband. Doing so meant leaving his permanent and secure job, leaving his family without a breadwinner. Ulfa made a courageous move. She obtained a loan from LOLC to start a long tong making business and became the solitary breadwinner of her family, enabling her husband to enter graduate school. Today, her small home-based business is thriving and provides her family with a steady income. I started this business with the intention of closing it after my husband completed his master's degree and returned to work at his former job. But after LOLC began funding my business, I changed my mind. Business is growing fast and I see a good future. As an early adopter of technology, LOLC has gained a significant competitive advantage through increased operational efficiency, high quality service delivery and market effectiveness. LOLC customers are the lifelines of their families and communities. Thus, their success, welfare and protection are central to LOLC's human-centric approach to build financial inclusion. H.K. Champika Dilrukshi's husband was running a food business when he suddenly passed away 
in 2016. Dilrukshi was left widowed with two children and faced the burden of servicing two loans that her husband had taken. Fortunately, LOLC had both loans covered by insurance and she was relieved from the difficult task of repaying loans. She is now back on her feet and has taken a loan from LOLC to upgrade her kitchen and restart food business. When my husband passed away, my children were still young and I was just 36 years old. I didn't have any income and was distraught when I thought I had to repay the two loans we had taken from LOLC in addition to providing for my children. The less affluent in developing nations are often locked in poverty due to circumstances beyond their control. The resulting inequality compromises social justice and impedes economic growth. Uplifting the underserved, therefore, is a social necessity and an economic imperative. LOLC is driven by the conviction that building financial inclusion and empowering communities are crucial requisites for creating inclusive and sustainable societies. Promoting financial inclusion is our mission. Uplifting the less fortunate is a privilege. Creating value for all our stakeholders is our pledge. Fortified with strategic management expertise, well-refined systems and processes, and proven leadership across many cultures and countries, LOLC is relentlessly shaping a future full of hope, promise and fulfillment for millions in developing nations.